Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to the world, it's the world away, and we've now got part 41 of Hashet Partworks Build the Terminator. Now apart from the fact that we've got a Terminator lying back there looking half dead, uh, this is a really good issue because before I even go into the issue, uh, check this out, I don't know if you can read this, uh, but it's telling you about the replacement parts for the fingers that we've been waiting for. Uh, and pretty much any loose fingers you have, all you're going to do is pop those joints off and replace them with what's in this bag. And basically exactly like we did for the other fingers, you've got the sleeves and the pins each end. So that does come in issue 41. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you want me to demonstrate how to put them in because uh, they're dead simple. It's just like put the sleeve in and uh, put one pin in one side and one pin in the other side. So uh, can't really go wrong. But uh, it's nice to see that Hachette did come through with that. Uh, and issue 41 does have those finger fixes. Uh, but what we've got to do in this issue, not a lot to do. We're still going to be working on the thoracic cage area, but more the lower section here. Uh, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting a little washer joint in inside this joint here uh, and that's going to be attached underneath uh, that's pretty much it so it's going to look just like that obviously this is going to be an interface uh, for something else to be going uh, down perhaps I'm guessing uh, to continue with the spinal uh, vertebrae uh, pieces that we've got coming uh, to that end does it show what we got coming it does look in issue uh, 42 we have now started to got the uh, individual vertebrates for the spine so uh, that's going to look pretty cool uh, but without further ado let's get cracking okay so the first thing we need is the vertebrae casing like this and we've got this section here it looks like a washer uh, but you've got an indent on it it's the indent that's going to be facing up when we put it in that's just going to fit in just like that there. Once we've got that, we've got this shaft section here, which has got uh, some really good designs on it actually around here, a lot of detail on there, uh, but we're gonna be putting this into the top. So the longer section here, is gonna be going in there just like that. And uh, because of that washer, it doesn't really turn on its own. So it's uh, quite a nice snug fit in there. Now the short ends that we've got on this side, we've got another little bit of plastic here with the recess at the bottom there. That's just gonna go over the top of this one, just like so. Nice and easy, it actually looks a bit like a doorstop, doesn't it? One of the old fashioned doorstops. Then we're gonna need to bring over our Terminator. So I'm gonna try and line it up so you can see the section we're gonna be working on. We're gonna be working on this section here. And then the section that we've just made here, I have moved my camera so you can see this, is gonna be going in this way, just into this section here. And as you can see, we've got a little cavity in there that will keep that in place. Now this is free to turn, so it doesn't matter what way around we put it in, but we have got to secure this in. Now they gave us some screws and they gave us some split washers. So what we do is we take one of the three times six mil screws, which come in this one, we put one of the split washers over the top, just like so, and then we will attach this in to keep this section in place, just like that. And then we repeat it for the other three. So here's the second one. <laughs> now this uh, Terminator actually looks more like half a robot. As someone suggested, it looks like Bishop from Aliens at the end of Aliens. <laughs> it's, um, it looks like I've got the Terminator on an operating table. I mean, I knew it's gonna get to the case where it's gonna be start to be really hard to film this because obviously uh, my workstation's only so big. But um, <laughs> it's quite a novel, to, novel thing to uh, <laughs> be working on it while it's like this. So this is the last one going in here. And then that is all we have to do in this issue. Now, I'm just gonna put this to one side now. Oh, just like that, just to show you a couple of other bits that we've got. We've got some vertebrae parts again, which are this part here and this part here. These are plastic. Uh, but we're not using them in this issue, so we need to put these away safely because uh, we won't be using that in this episode. But uh, that's all there is to do in this issue. So I said we're going to be working on the spine in the next issue. Uh, again, please let me know if you do want me to demonstrate how to put these finger parts in um, because we do get them in issue 41. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. Was this issue 41? Yes, it was issue 41. Anyway, listen, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in how I edit this video right now, I've got it on my Patreon, how I edited this because um, I do like doing the behind the scenes Thing, and that was something that was requested from my, my patrons on there at the moment. Uh, I'll give you an insight of how to edit the videos the way I film them. Anyway, take care.